Hey everybody, and welcome back to Pyre with Curly and Yawn. It's been a while, sorry. Hi. Yes, it's been a while. It's the, actually the... been a while for them, too. It's not just been a while for us this time. Well, technically not. The last episode came out, like, what, on Thursday? It's... Yeah, but it's this like, a... coming... oh, what day this is it com... now? Coming out on Monday. Taking recording this on a Sunday. Okay, fine. So it's been like yeah, three days. Yeah, got, we've gotten two new games since. We're playing Spyro and Ocarina. Yep. Yeah. Kind of... Look at us. Okay, so we're going to go fight... Um... Ignarius. The... Ignarius and the, uh, what are they called? And the Demon Boys. That was... I believe that's their band name. That's their band name. Yeah, I'm gonna go see them at the Seafood Fest. Mm. Hi. I have a- I have water. Um, I have a, I have a bottle of water. Um... I forget what they're called. The Tempers. Okay. Yes. Now that I know it, I can- I can keep- I can keep going. It is daybreak. You are to set forth now to the cairn of Hawub, for what appears to be the final time. Thereafter, you shall return here for one last exile's final chance at liberty. Well, okay, now we know this is our final one. Take off. <laughs> That's Isn't my excited me, like, sound. Does it look kind of like ash is falling from the sky? Well, everything around here is melting. Everything's on fire. It was dark, and yet the buildings were all on fire. I tortured Curly yeah. with some terrible fanfiction. Oh this my god, that was... <sighs> Not this morning, but when I got home from work, which feels like this morning. Sup, chastity. Yeah. <laughs> H my itching to stuff. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> eh! What, what, what was that? I remember his voice. <laughs> you over here. It just full-on panic, like they describe. You overhear Sir Deluge in a full-on panic as his fellow Worm Knights attempt to calm him down. What, what, what do you mean? It was the Nightwings. We're, we're, we're not to face them in our coming right again, are we? You should be very afraid, Worm Child. At some point, he realizes your wagon is aloft beside his own. You, you, you Nightwings. This knight shall not forgive you this... This transgression. Once we prevail against whichever adversaries are doomed to face us next, then we shall come for you. Gah. Dude, if if they are our final rights battle, I'm gonna fucking lie. <laughs> Gah. Why must this knight be forced to fly so far above the land and the sea? Oh, that's true. Don't pick on him. He's afraid of flying. Hey, you wanna fight this? He may already be a coward, but now he's just a coward in the air. Also, I have Takis for the first time ever. Guacamole Takis. Such a funny word, Takis. 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 Especially Guacamole Takis. Guacamole Takis. Mm. Shunt. What's this? You got that guac. Oh. The well, that, that's a glitch. Look, we can't see who they are. I don't like them. I don't want to see them anymore. Shunt. Shunt. Um, and Licksand. You sense an unusual presence here, bearing word of your adversary Ignarius. That sounds Why? interesting. Why? What does that mean? Um, mm. I'm almost interested. Let's land here. Okay, you're the reader. Mm-hmm. Crunch, 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 crunch. Contact the apparition. You think I'm an apparition? As you walk through a dark corner of lick sand. You sense a presence of some sort which reaches out to you. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's you again. Don't look it in the eyes. It presents you with a vision of the adversary you expect to face in the coming right. The apparition is aware of your next adversary in the rites, Ignarius. It offers you to sway the coming rites against him in your favor. Hmm... Except, and your adversary shall suffer a misfortune that inhibits his performance. Nothing permanent, it claims. Decline, and the apparition shall extend its offer to Ignarius instead. Why did you pick this one, Curly? Well, are we evil? Gratitude or decline with grace. Oh, God, we're taking it. <sighs> if you must. Well, uh, well, do you think he would not take it? Oh, he's totally going to take it. Then he's take... got a girl back home. We're taking it. You have always chosen your words wisely, reader. 
Mm -hmm. You thank the apparition for its generous offer and accept it, accept what it proposed. A moment later, the apparition folds in on itself and disappears. As you head back to the Black Wagon, you cannot help but wonder what exactly it intends to do. Okay, my super quickness. Okay. Just slices his ankles. It's like. Continue on our journey, I guess. Karen of Karen of Hawub, you dirty, dirty cheater. Hey, all's fair. We need to get back. We Take gotta the... get back no matter what, babe. No. Oh. Alright. No one talked to. Wow, it's so quiet. No one's talked to us for like weeks on end. Okay. Mm. Everyone's tired. I know someone who always wants to talk to you, though. Yay! Ah, guys! Can't help but wondering whatever happened to that number with wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we sent we sent our girl home. Mm-hmm. We're sending everybody home. Uh, guys, can't help but wondering whatever happened to that number with the wings. You know the one. I guess she's kind of pretty. Maybe. I suppose. She's still around by any chance? Because, uh, um, well, anyways. Ooh. The pile of stardust. That looks nice. Hmm. I'll sell this. Take my mushrooms, slug child. And then I will take this. And oh, my leggies. I'm this. sitting on them in an uncomfortable fashion. Aw. And then we will go leave. Come see us again, guys. Hey, we just got a thing learning about slug market. Um, so before we do anything there, um, can we hey. add anything to this? He's a can zip faster, so Gilman can jump further. Um, what's his? Oh yeah. Fulford does jack shit. There's no one left. I know, right? Gilman oh. next. Gilman next for freedom. We can't. I can't give this to him. Much as I would love to. Weird. Does it say we can't give it to any of them? It looks like it. Looks like you just wasted our money. Whatever. Oh, you to... could have sold off Triesta's plume. Oh, we could have. Should we sell it? If you'd like. I mean, we're not gonna get anything from him. They're back again, dead. <laughs> I don't think we ever come back to him. No, I don't wake him up. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Why are you making yeah. those noises? Should have knocked him unconscious. Instead, you woke him up. Like, knock him over the head with a... <laughs> this is a nice relic. Mm. Alright. Yeah, it's fine enough. I don't want to do all of the shipping. Who are we shipping this time? Oral wood. Oh yeah, oral wood. Okay, so I guess we're just getting into this. Commencing the right, yeah. After making all the necessary preparations amid the dusty waves of the Cairn of Hawub, you and your companions await the commencement of the rites. It is quieter, even than usual, at the onset of such events. The lone minstrel appears, bearing some sort of news. Uh, shit. <laughs> what? Uh, shit. Did we kill him? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think so. I have checked, and it appears that the tempers have not yet arrived, reader sir. There is no sign of Ignorius or anyone. Their sigil is not set either. If what he says is true, and your adversaries are not present, then you presume the rite cannot commence. However, the stars themselves soon indicate you are mistaken. Oh god, are we going up against... What have you done? 
I don't know. I've done nothing. I've done nothing wrong. Don't judge me. I'm judging you, reader. Don't, please don't. The reader has a lot of self-doubts <laughs> with himself and uh, does not like to be judged. He's small. Waking wood is funny. It wasn't my outlandish plan, it was Wolfred. Are you scared? Yeah, they will. The right is set to commence, but your adversaries, they have failed to show. Unfortunate, but understandable. They knew that they would never make it to another liberation right. I cannot blame them for not wanting to participate just for the sake of it. Indeed, as the rights are drawing to a close, some of the triumvirites whom you have met Perhaps they are beginning to decide the stars are not worth heeding any longer. No, instead we, uh, so we paid off this ghost, right? You did what? So we, we, we paid off this ghost to like slit his ankles. I thought it was a good idea at the time. I was a little drunk. I'd been tapping on Pam at this moonshine. Ignarius, you wonder whether he would give up on the rights like that. He did seem rather disinfe dis disinfected. Thank you, Jan. Please leave. I'm leaving. Alright, bye. Bye. Alright, I'll take he over. He did from seem him. rather... <laughs> he did seem rather disaffected, having failed in the liberation rites before. Yeah, and then he beat our ass while all the little drive imps watched and cheered and hooped and hollered. Perhaps he did finally decide to quit for good. In any case, we have begun the ceremony here, and so, I ask that we end it. Okay. So, what are we doing? Quickly, your okay. Say... I was gonna pick whoever. This cannot possibly be honorable, can it? Nope. Just walk it in. Even your adversaries have abandoned you, and it is done. The night wings prevail by default. He might not have showed up at all. Even care. I don't think he was going to show up. By the scribes, is this truly what they wanted? I think we damaged everyone. Huh? Well, that was exciting. Glad you guys watched that super exciting pyre match we had. I'm terrified, dude. Something's he going on. He might not have on. showed up ever anyway. No one speaks further of the tempers back at the Black Wagon. Everyone is instead preoccupied with the right that is to come. This night is to believe. We have but one remaining chance. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing Manly's voice. We have but one remaining chance at freedom, here and now. The stars always shine with truth. The ending of the cycle of the rites is now upon us. He looks over to you. Please look forth, reader, sir, and see this for yourself. You may well surmise where we are going next. The others turn to you as well. You turn toward the wagon door. You know what you shall see out there. Now, however, the time has come to face it. The dim and fading light of the final star still pierces through the darkness. Demanding your attention, 
guiding you toward the end point of your path. For the last... God, this is hard. I'm having so many emotions. And you prevail against him and you shall be free. What if we don't prevail against him? What happens? Uh, bad end. Okay, so we have to get the good end then. I mean... Or we just get an end. Are we just doing that? I don't know. I, I suppose there's neutral... I... I have seen the image of failed revolution, and it's a shot of Orelex standing triumphant, and so I don't like him. Uh, you are summoned to the fall of Solium for your seventh and final liberation rite. Thus shall the cycle of the rites be ended for an age. You sense that if the rites ever shall commence again, it shall not be during your lifetime, or that of any of your companions, even the longest lived ones. The stars revealed to you one more thing. The adversary whom you shall be- Whoa. Read. The adversary whom you shall- Read. The adversary whom you face shall be Orlek. There we go. Already he has crossed Scribe's gate and awaits your arrival. If the eight scribes created the Nightwings in their own likeness, perhaps it is only fitting that the Nightwings should, in the end, be forced to face themselves. It is a shame that we should have to confront Orlek in the end. Our goal should never have been at cross-purposes. I am surprised that this is what the scribes desire. For now, it may be best that you recover until dawn. Regain your strength as best you can for the coming right. Trial. Sure. Rest well, reader. The group disperses as exhaustion sets in. At dawn, you fly to Mount Elodiel to make a final effort to achieve your plan and get somebody home. But who? Okay. Continue our I don't journey. think he's going to show up no matter what. Oh yeah, he wasn't. Foolish reader. Shut up. Your so-called friends. You are accomplice to their hateful plot. They are exploiting you. No, they're not. They're you my friends. Have your freedom. I know that. Shut up, Star. I'm doing this for them. By dawn, you are already up and about after a troubled slumber. The Black Wagon is prepared for its final voyage to the Fall of Solium. No one speaks. Okay. As you lift into the skies, the lone minstrel raises his voice, cutting through the somber mood. Reader, a certain olden ballad comes to mind just now. I think it may befit the circumstance. Perhaps it may help to pass the time along our flight. Would you mind it very much if we, if I were to play this, this song for the Nightwings? By all means. You urge the lone minstrel to play his ballad so that all among you might hear it. He begins without another word. And the stars align. <sighs> I don't want to be a minstrel. Oh, yeah, you never told us that. Shut up.
my feelings. Ah, we're sending him home. Wait, why did we? No, we decided that because Faye wouldn't care if she went back or not. Yeah, but Gilman has of... much to do. Mm -hmm. You touch down amid the old masonry of Mount Elodiel to make pilgrimage to the summit for one last time. There, one last liberation rite shall soon commence. There, one last ex exile shall be given his or her freedom. All others shall remain to carry out their sentences here in the downside for the remainder of their lives. And then the Commonwealth, the plan of which you are a part, shall either come to fruition or shall be suppressed. We have, what, a 78 right now? I can find out. 74? 76. 76. Not bad, not bad. All right, well, thank you everyone for watching this episode. Oh it was exciting. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see you in the next one, I guess. I'm so scared and sad and emotional. Sorry, right. everyone. Bye. Bye.